Noam Chomsky is a very famous uh, linguist. Uh, he's also quite famous politically, but his, his great fame is really um, that he discovered something called transformational grammar, that the idea that universally all languages have um, a gra grammatical root. So he worked this out in his 1950s PhD thesis, and he went on to teach linguistics in uh, the Masses, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. So I think he's still there today. He's about 94 or something. Anyway, the idea is uh, deep structure, surface structure. This is from Noam Chomsky. Is we are supposedly, as human beings, meaning-making machines. So as a little boy or little girl, I am told um, surface structure, that means words and symbols come at me, and my mum or something says to me, uh, be a good boy and do your homework. Now, those words quite innocently come towards me, and I hear them, be a good boy and do your homework. Now, I want to make meaning of that. Now, what does that mean? And at that moment, that goes into deep structure, my ideas, my identity, emotions, thoughts, feelings, whatever. And I say what it means could be misinterpreted. I might say, so my mum is really saying that unless I work all the time, I'm a bad person. So that now becomes a belief. And a belief is something which is operating at a deep structure, so I feel it. So after that experience, my mum quite innocently encouraging me to do my homework, I may now kinesthetically feel anxious if I'm not working. I am no longer saying the belief. I'm not sitting around, wandering around saying, be a good boy and do your homework, because that's not how beliefs operate. They start linguistically, but they then neurologically descend into your system, so you feel it. In other words, feel good, feel bad. So I'm feeling bad all the time, and I'm working like a dog. Now, I did do pretty good at my homework. I did get all my exams. But as I get older, the strain of the work is beginning to pay off badly. So I go and see a coach. And I say to them quite innocently, well, everyone knows, unless you work all the time, you're a bad person. So the coach, I'm on the other chair now, says, ha-ha, you just said something. Everybody knows, that unless you work all the time, you're a bad person. Can I repeat that back to you? So I repeat it back to the person. And then I add in the words, do you believe that to be true? And then me, who has seen this coach, is thinking, Unless you work all the time, you are a bad person. So now what's happened is the coach has not done anything other than repeat my words and challenge, ask me to challenge the belief. Do I believe that to be true? Now the words, fortunately, as I blurted them out spontaneously, are now a surface structure. And I can think about it and think, well, no, I think it's not true. And now the coach is you know, really on to something. And he says, do you know anyone who doesn't work all the time who's terribly effective? I go, oh, yes, in fact, I do. I know someone who works quite a bit, but also rests really well, and they're even more effective than me. I need a new belief. So now, with this new belief, hopefully goes into deep structure, I reprogram myself, and now I can chill out and do fuck all, and I'm happy. <laughs> Thank God. Um, all right, so that's the idea. Do, do you get the idea? And surface structure, deep structure. So it's this transformation of making meaning. And then once the meaning is made, you're sort of stuck in it because it just feels bad and you don't know why. And that's kind of therapy in a nutshell.